Hey, what's going on, bro? Once again, bro, from Ramblers and Ramblers, as always. <clears throat> I'm talking to Mickey Commodities. This is Random Pop Culture News Week here, a.k.a. Man of Marine, guys, and wrestling to watch support this channel. Follow me on Twitter Instagram, and of course, um, be sure to write here, and of course, other places like Odyssey and all that stuff, it's because it's time to shut down the Terminator, the Shadow Man. Anyways, <clears throat> swear to God, I'm not getting like, sick or anything. But unfortunately, my dumbass, I thought it was <laughs> a bright idea to have some Tabasco garlic sauce with fucking popcorn, and I will never do that shit again because I almost choked to death, and that freaking sucked. Now, anyway, that's why you're going to be hearing me doing <clears throat> this a few times. I could edit that out, but I'm not to. But anyways, I did have like the whole wokeism thing about Mario, like movie makes Princess Peach the wokeism and um, makes her a fucking Mary Sue. But anyways, you're hearing um, DNF Duel in the background. Like, this gives me a lot of the same vibes, the same people that made the Guilty Gear Strive shit and Killer Instincts. I'm not sure it's the same studio that I made that, but that shit looks really freaking good. Holy hell. I want to do a reaction to it. I may or may not tomorrow, Tuesday. I'm going to be like three days old by that point. I saw one of the trailers already. That shit looks smooth as hell. Right now, I think it's only going to be for the PS5, PS4, and um, Xbox Series X and S. But I mean, coming out to the time to switch pretty soon, too. So I'm excited for that. So it says DNF Duel. Grand Battle Patch. New announcement character, a new Switch version announced. <clears throat> Gameplay patch arrives December. While Switch version is scheduled to release sometime spring of 2023. This comes from, I was going to say their last name, like before, Perijot. Shun. That's going to make their freaking, um, their names shorter. So I've got to credit cards. This from, um, Gaming Bolt. I was going to read a Nintendo Live, but I read something that two days ago. But let's begin. It says, launching. Earlier this year, co-developer Arc System Works. DNM Duel hasn't exactly been one of the most prominent releases of the fighting game genre in recent memory. Well, there have been updates for every game now and then that have been made for gameplay tweaks and made mounted challenges or more content over the horizon and new details for which have been revealed. For starters, DNM Duel will be getting a new update in December, which is this month. <laughs> Dubbed the Grand Balance Patch. The update will bring buffs to over 100 skills, including buff up awakening skills, guard gauge, and HP boost for all four characters. Oh, they got HP in this game too? Wow, well, okay. Wow. <laughs> and Pokemon and Old School Dragon Ball Z vibes, but let's move on. And improvements to evading and guarding canceling. Meanwhile, the new DLC character, Spectre, has also been revealed. If there's no word on it, it should be coming to the game. Additionally, a new Nintendo Switch version of the fighter has also been announced for the launch schedule for Spring 2023. Now, review for DNF Duel rewarded the score 8 out of 10. I think it's for them mainly, <clears throat> saying DNF Duel is approachable. Well, hopefully it is approachable because if not, that would suck. <laughs> to take on the genre that might hold back from some. <clears throat> for some, but will likely hit the sweet spot for many other newcomers and mid-level players. That's great. I hope that it is. For many others and mid-level players. Read the full review to hear. DNF Duel is currently available for the PS4, PS5. It should be that instead of the PS5 for sure, but I see what they're doing there. PC. Yeah, overall thoughts, views, and opinions. I saw this trailer. This one was pretty nice on my own time. The other two, I still might do a reaction review segment for that, because... Oh, man, the first one looked damn good. They already have so much good shit in there. Like I said before, I'll say it again. I'm getting a lot of Guilty Gear Strive vibes. It's sort of like old-school Killer Instinct vibes. You know, I only played it ever once or twice in an old-school arcade shit. I never played it for the 360 and beyond, like, full Xbox and Microsoft shit, the Xbox One, the Xbox Series, X and S. <clears throat> there was ever a reason I'd ever get an Xbox console? Probably because of that. That and the Forza series, and that's probably it. But <laughs> I wouldn't give a rat's ass about any of the games that... Um, the Xbox Series X and S we can have. Yeah, honestly. Oh, and then, um, these two I may end up, um, reacting to. I haven't seen these yet. That looks really freaking badass. This one up here. I mean, they have the girls with the freaking firearms and shit like that. Bang bangs, um, freaking shooting all over the place. Freaking kick ass, man. And the way, the one of them looks like a Van Helsing character a little bit. Or that dude, um, Ethan Winters, I was in Resident Evil like two years ago, I don't know. Crazy, that game's gonna be like what two, two and a half years old next year. Fucking wild last time we're living. And then there's another one that's an elf chick that looks like she came out of either Genshin Impact, the Fire Emblem, and Alteria Riser, any of the Tales things. 
even an old game. I didn't get to talk about it in my last video. So, Magalia lost last week. Um, I think it was discontinued, which kind of sucks ass for some people. For me, I never really played Dragalia lost because I never really got my JRPGs that much. And the only time I've really liked, I still never got to play, was um, the Xenoblade series and Xenogear Saga. Hopefully one day I get to play it, even though it's a super old ass PS2, early PS3 game. I didn't even know about that until literally like five years ago, in like 2018. Even before that, in 2014-15, was when I even first heard about Xenoblade Chronicles. I got into that shit really fucking fast. I played a few, few times for free. At the time, I was still running stuff for the game, but I know how much of an old boomer I am. But anyway, so um, <coughs> internet boomer. But anyways, yeah, other than that, obviously the music's top notch, all the little weapons that they use are freaking so phenomenal. This shit is definitely up my freaking alley. If I was like a professional esports player, I would totally play this shit for money every day. But anyways, let's get on to the quick Mario stuff news. So let's go on to this. So, uh, <laughs> my lord, um, this is where it's going to get a little bit crazy. I'm not going to go into the old political wokeism and all that. Left and right shit paradigm. My personal opinion, like, you already know how I stand. You've been in my channel long enough. You already know where I stand on that. Most of the politics is all bullshit to lie. It's a fucking illusion to me. Um, the whole Democrat Republican shit. I don't really give a fuck about either side because they're both fucking corrupted anyways. And that's probably for almost all of them around the world. I mean, still, luckily, I'm still blessed enough over here to live in the United States, which still get a little bit of freedom left before I'm my personal opinion 2030 and that's all fucking taken away. But. I'm not going to get into that because it gets into some rabbit hole of tinfoil hat theory shit. When this comes from my anime list, I might read a little bit of the comments. I'm only going to read like, the comments. This is in the recent. This is from Rohan once to one. So, um, yeah, my anime list. I'm surprised I'm going to read it from here. Recent Mario event movie trailer, which was last week, I think Tuesday, Wednesday. This is a like week old. So, this one was from three days ago. It's not that long ago. This is a lot older, but this is 11, number 30th. I don't know. Oh, September 2018. That's when the first one joined. Okay. It shows, though, at least a tough Mary Sue archetype with a weapon against Bowser. In fact, Bowser does not seem to capture Peach in the movie at all with his main goals of Power Star instead of according to trailers. What do you think about this drastic shift in the character? I used to think Chris Pappy and Mario was, strangest, was the strangest casting. But I now think that Peach... Since, is, since she sounds nothing like Peach is portrayed in the games and voice acting clues. See, that's the reason why I kind of got a little rubbed off the wrong way and how Undertale George was going to make fucking Peach. I don't know. She says, it seems, she seems like woke culture and expand, is expandably globi globally. I curiously think of what other people would do in case of this. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, think of it. What do you guys think? So it's, I'm just saying that I'm not. That's this other person who's like, <clears throat> putting the scenario aside, I present my own question. Why should I care about this Illuminous film? All the other movies are just currently trends of what they're doing. In the most bland and uninteresting way possible, at best to appeal to an audience, a little bottom line, to just want to watch whatever is new without any case. <clears throat> if anything, Movie being more woke and lesser issues. I'm just wondering why Nintendo chose them simply because at the studio they're creating creatively bankrupt. And at the very least, Nintendo tries to stand out, feel better or worse. So this is another one I really, really want to read. I agree with them almost 100% to a freaking T. I'm not sure who it was, but I know somewhere here. It was really, really good. I have to say it was a very long ass take. There was. It's from Fario's P. So it's from last week. Because what I think is, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Number two, you should probably go outside and come back when I guess. And come back when I suggest you looking at what Mary Sue means. <laughs> this is what I thought was pretty good, so I got to credit this person there. Hopefully they're not a bot, they're an actual real person. <clears throat> so it also goes on to say, sure, we see signs of Princess Peach probably being a girl boss Mary Sue would with that one act swing shot. <laughs> Make sure they don't deny an America film company would go that far to be woke Mary Sue just to appeal. And just to appeal to a very small niche that dwells on Twitter because all the freaking do in Hollywood these days. And let's be real, everybody, but there aren't any concrete signs of her character being a Mary Sue. There's just so little that we see. <clears throat> now we see her in this trailer that we really can't see if she's 
just some self-answer who existence bends on a plot with her well with her will without any other character flaws yet again that there isn't meant to be a <clears throat> defense of the Mario movie in fact I'm still not sure entirely sure entirely sold sure sold over there we go for being many responses especially since illumination was involved but unless the next trailer shows more signs of Captain Marvel, Show Hulk, or whatever Woke Hollywood does. BS. I feel pretty neutral about this so far. Not existing in the Yeah. Totally agree with that. When I saw that Captain Marvel movie, they got it and paid for it when my friends paid for it for me. It's Snow ain't hell and use my own money for that shit. <laughs> Fuck that. And it'd be a mass fucking garbage ass third wave feminism fucking trash shit fucking woke as Master W prop. I didn't like that. The She-Hulk, I didn't watch that at all either. I just completely skipped it. I'm glad I did because I saw the reviews for that shit. That was really, really a shit case there, man. I'm so, so glad I didn't watch that one. But anyways, um, let's keep it moving. Also, Konakelli, Koneklio? I don't even know how you say that. Konakelio said, Peach has had more of an actual character aside from the damsel in distress post game Super Mario RPG for the first three Paper Mario games, especially Super Paper Mario single-handedly proves proved this. i never even been one of those who hate Peach <clears throat> for how she uses the main series and the games, even though it's understandably tiring to see someone get kidnapped every time the ideas of herself do anything in the games. Okay, I'm going to unhighlight this one. But I'm one of those who acknowledge and really like portrayal in the early Paper Mario games, so... Even though there's probably some girl boss agenda lurking within her, which here I hope not. This movie is, this movie and this trailer definitely precede or precedent to preceding for her seemingly more active roles and therefore feels even more of a non-issue in my eyes. This, this person's eyes here. So there's that. And also goes on to say that uh, once again at the moment not denying that it could be cringy later on. I hope it ain't, but it might be. Not denying that it could get cringier later. And this is another person. This act seems out of place. They should have made her iconic pink umbrella and said, Why are your franchise supposed to be goofy and not serious, considering how many <laughs> member berries <laughs> that this current trailer feels? I'm surprised that they didn't go for their pretty uh, Perry and a Parasol in Super Princess Peach. Yeah. Yeah, overall thoughts, these and opinions on this, I really hope it ain't hardcore mass focus and SJW, like, cancel culture vulture shit in this thing. I mean, if they make Chris Pat a goofball, I wouldn't be surprised, because, you know, sometimes Mario's, in a way, he's supposed to be, like, not taken super, super seriously. But at the same time, I just don't make, I really hope to God they don't make him some fucking old school, you know, you know the soy boy dude, the, like, the case or everything, like, yes, queen, I, I respect you, queen, like, and I hope they don't fuck it up on that part. I don't put, they don't put no political agenda bullshit into this. As long as they don't put none of that crap into it, and the voice actors do their fucking job and start preaching to the choir that they're better than everybody else or that they, they think that the police are going to fucking listen to everything that's saying, fuck that. I hope not. I'm not even going to watch it the first day. I'll probably watch it after maybe a month it comes out. And if I see it's shit, I'm just going to wait till it's on the rent it for a little bit instead of paying almost 10 bucks for it. But it is what it is. Links to subscribe to the look at what's on the here. That's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fingers. We'll talk to you I'll see you guys in a good day, good night, wherever you ever saw there. So, if you can share a little bit of mystery, like mom news, 15 drama news, three or four times in a week or month, a lot of must news, or random pop culture news. And of course, reaction review seconds. And that's it. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. Bye. See you in the first Take it easy. I'm gone. Stay safe and goodbye. Later.